So you're thinking about moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, and maybe even the Shenandoah Valley. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about where to live to get high in the Shenandoah Valley. I'm gonna tell you everything about the Shenandoah Valley from its ups to its downs, its tops to its bottoms, its highs to its lows, from the tops of its hills to the lowest of its thrills. Yeah. I... Just stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I am gonna tell you about how to live high in the Shenandoah Valley. And let's get started. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, like the Shenandoah Valley, then click on that subscribe button and touch that bell icon so you can be the first to be notified about all the current market information in Virginia from its beautiful mountains to its valleys. Hi, my name's Stefan Gleason, along with my wife, still gone, Leslie, and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to make a move to the Shenandoah Valley or who are looking to make a move in the Shenandoah Valley, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, just pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. That information is all in the description down below, and we'll be happy to help you make your move to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys as smooth as possible. But before we get started, if you hang around to the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you the five best reasons for living high in the Shenandoah Valley. And you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So like I said at the beginning of the video, what is it? Why is it so important? Why is it such a good thing to live high in the Shenandoah Valley? Well, Leslie and I get that question to ask to us all the time. No, it may not be the kind of question you've been thinking about, of course, but the question is, how do I get a view in the Shenandoah Valley and maybe even a little bit of land to go along with it? Well, the Shenandoah Valley is such a beautiful place. I personally believe it's one of the most beautiful places in all the entire world. Absolutely love living and being in the Shenandoah Valley. A lot of people think that you need to live in the mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains or the Appalachian Mountains to get a great view of the valley. And while that's certainly a place where you're gonna find some fantastic, awesome views, it's not the only place where you're gonna get some great views in the Shenandoah Valley. And that's kind of what I wanna share with you a little bit today is about how to get some beautiful mountain views without living at the top of a mountain. So that being said, I wanna go ahead and I wanna share with you a little bit about the Shenandoah Valley. As you can see here on this map, Interstate 81 runs all the way through the state of Virginia and all the way through the Shenandoah Valley. The Shenandoah Valley is a geographical area, but it's also a cultural area as well. And the entire area that you're seeing here in this map, it's about 140 miles long. Now, some interesting things about the Shenandoah Valley that you may not know, though. If you start at the north end of the Shenandoah Valley, the largest city there is Winchester. And you drive that 140 miles and you get down to Lexington, Virginia, you're going to see that there's some great changes in the elevation in the Shenandoah Valley. Starting at the low end of about almost 700 feet there in Winchester, the valley continues to rise as you travel further south. And finally, you get to about Rafine, Virginia, and then you see it drops down, back down into Lexington. So of course, that valley being like that, it has a few things that that affects. For example, the Shenandoah River. Everybody always talks about the beautiful Shenandoah River. Song, songs have even been written about it. But the Shenandoah Valley River is a started from two different rivers. The North Fork of the Shenandoah River, which flows uh, out of the mountains that are west of uh, Broadway, Virginia. At the same time, those waters are flowing. There's waters that are coming up from Stanton and Waynesboro and in Augusta County, and they flow into the South Fork of the Shenandoah uh, River. Both of those meet uh, at Front Royal, Virginia, and then the Shenandoah Valley River continues as one river up until it finally empties into the Potomac River. So that being said, everything is running from basically south to north because of the difference in the elevation changes. And when we pop back up, the 
different cities that we had right along Interstate 81. And by the way, these are measurements from right on Interstate 81. But you're going to see that, again, that drop off from Rafine, there's a severe drop off there. And that's because after that in the Shenandoah Valley, everything flows to the south from there. Such so just a really interesting geographic fact about it. But that's why Augusta County has no water that flows into it. All water flows out of Augusta County. And just as a matter of fact, Augusta County is the second largest county in Virginia from a land perspective size. So just some kind of neat things about the Shenandoah Valley and geographically some of the things that um, are, effect, are, are affected in the Shenandoah Valley. So let's make, break down and let's look at Augusta County since we talked about it. You can see that on the on the left hand side or on the western side, you've got the Appalachian Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains come down out of the mountains into the Shenandoah Valley and then it swoops back up to the Blue Ridge Mountains, which aren't quite as high as the Appalachian Mountains. So those different heights are indicative of where the valley goes. And of course, there's different heights in different places of the valley. But not only just coming down off the mountains are things different. If you look at this next picture, this is a home that Leslie sold about a year ago. And this particular property, you can look down and you can see the, um, the circle there and the pin marker on the road. And that road is about 1,415 feet above sea level. But if you look where the house is sold, the house is sitting at 1,490 feet above sea level. That's a big difference over about 1,585 square feet. That's how far apart those are. And just in that short distance, it has a big difference in height. That's about 75 feet difference. So what does that 75 feet do? Well, if you look down, you go back down to the road and you take a look back up to the house on the top of the hill. When you look at a picture like this, you just, you really don't get that perspective that you do when you're actually in, in real person. So here's one that's kind of graphically enhanced. It gives you a little bit more of an idea, but it still really doesn't give you a whole lot. One of the best ways to see that difference is just to be at the top of the hill. And when you go up to the top of the hill, you can look and you can see for miles and miles and miles. And that's where the perspective changes. Now to kind of show you the difference, if you were to go back down to the road and stand in the road and look in the same direction, this is what you would see. Definitely not the kind of view that is a mountain view or a valley view. Something up on top of the mountain is something definitely like what a lot of people are looking for. And who can blame them? The Shenandoah Valley and everything about it is just so beautiful. You love to have those views. So this particular house, if we place it on a map, here it is on the map, but let's go and let's do a little satellite view of the map, okay? You can see that there's uh, some trees up there. Well, why are those trees up there where that house is? It's because if you go to a topographical map, you're gonna see that it sits on top of a hill or what we call in this area, there's, there's all sorts of different types of mountains. This one's Walter's Mountain. And uh, Walters Mountain is where this home sits. And it, it, there's, but these are all throughout the valley, these little hills and ridges uh, within the valley like this. And so to give you an idea, here's, here's something just uh, north of Weir's Cave between there and between Harrisonburg. And you can see the different ridges in the rills. It's what I like to call the valley ridges. Well, they may not be like the potato chip that has those ridges, but they certainly are. Uh, ridges in the valley and it's up on those ridges that you can get some great views in the valley. So that's right, the Shenandoah Valley is just not a flat valley, okay? There are definitely hills and ridges all over the valley that if you find a house on one of those hills, you're gonna have some of the greatest views that you could ever imagine. And the cool thing about them is you can see the Blue Ridge Mountains, in the Appalachian Mountains, in some places, you can see both mountain ranges. So at the beginning of the video, I told you that at the end of the video, I'd share with you my five best reasons for living on a hill or living on a ridge in the Shenandoah Valley. So that being said, number one is very obvious. It's the views that you get in the Shenandoah Valley. I mean, you've seen some of the pictures and some of the pictures that are playing now. It's absolutely beautiful in the Shenandoah Valley. You can, some of the hills that if you get up on a hill and you get some views of the mountains, you can get views of both mountains. You can see the Appalachians in the west and the Blue Ridge in the east. It's just an absolutely beautiful place to live. 
you, while you're there, you're you're up. You can watch the birds fly. You'll see on those some of these hills and ridges. You'll see deer down below you, and you'll see them in the woods behind you. As a matter of fact, there's even bears that come into the woods um, it, it, that are in the Shenandoah Valley here. And so, nature. You're also going to see nature. It's a beautiful thing living in the Shenandoah Valley and living up on one of these hills, or as we call them, as I call them, the Valley Ridge. Of course, another neat thing about living a little bit higher up like that is the sunsets. The sunsets in Virginia, I think, are some of the most magnificent sunsets in all of the earth. They're just absolutely beautiful. And to view them from on top of one of these hills, when you're looking at the mountains in front of the sunset and the sun in the background, is an absolutely amazing thing. So obviously, the views are the number one reason to have a home on top of the hill in the Shenandoah Valley. But I think there's another reason, and that is convenience. This is sometimes overlooked. While you can live in the Appalachian Mountains in the west or in the Blue Ridge Mountains on the eastern side, sometimes traveling down out of those mountains uh, takes a while to get down into the valley where your major towns like Harrisonburg and Stanton and Waynesboro and Winchester and Lexington, where those towns are located. It can also be difficult in the wintertime when you're having to travel up steep mountain roads to get to your home if it ices over, if it snows over. So from a convenience factor, it's incredibly important to understand that living down in the valley on a hill where you get those views, you're much closer to those towns. That's a really neat convenience to have if you're living in the Shenandoah Valley. And I think a third thing as well is privacy and peacefulness. Have you ever gone up to the top of the hill that's separated from the roads that are below it? I know you've probably been up in a mountain before and you definitely know how peace and quiet it can get up there. And, but it's the same way or similar to that in the Shenandoah Valley as well because you're up off of the road in the Shenandoah Valley. So there's that peacefulness, there's that, that privacy as well. You're, you're elevated, you're, you, you can see what's going on, everything down below you. So it's really neat to have that peace and that privacy as well. And the fourth reason for living on a hill in the valley is for creativity and inspiration. Throughout history, many famous people have lived on the top of a hill or on the top of a mountain to be inspired. Even here in our own area, just on the other side of the mountain, we have Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, who lived on the hill in his famous estate, Monticello. In addition to being the primary writer of the Declaration of Independence, he also had many inspirational and private pursuits that he did while he was there at Monticello. He was interested in horticulture. He was interested in music. He was an inventor. He was an architect. He designed uh, Monticello itself. So there's a lot of to be said about getting kind of up and away from things so that you can think clearly. And I think that's a great reason to live a little bit higher in the valley where you have those views and you can be inspired by them. So a fifth reason why it's a great thing to live on top of a hill or a valley ridge right in the Shenandoah Valley is because you might always think you're on vacation. As a matter of fact, you know, people pay a lot of money to go to places where there's beautiful views of mountains and valleys. Well, here's another property that Leslie sold to some folks and they absolutely love where they live. And I can understand why. Look at some of the pictures that they've taken and some of the beautiful views of the mountains and the sunsets. And wow, what a, what a just absolutely beautiful place to be. Well, like I say, people pay money to go and see these views. And this couple and other folks here in the Shenandoah Valley live on top of the hill and have these views all the time. Here's some pictures from an Airbnb about 10 minutes northeast of, of uh, Stanton, Virginia. And as you can see, some beautiful pictures of the mountains and uh, the property is a three bedroom, two bath. It holds up to seven people. And But look at the beautiful views. And then we stop and we take a look at this one. You got a wine bottle sitting there from Barren Ridge Vineyards, which is in Augusta County. And imagine sitting out on the deck and watching a nice sunset in the summertime while you enjoy a glass of wine. Well, as a matter of fact, you can do that. As I mentioned, it's on Airbnb. And if you were to take you and your significant other to this Airbnb site, and let's just pick a date from May 26th through May 28th, Friday, Saturday, uh, Friday night and Saturday night, uh, by the time you got done and you left, your bill for that would be $958. 
So like I say, that view definitely comes with a price. But if you live on a mountain, on a valley ridge or on a, on a hill, you have that view all the time. And maybe perhaps you are looking for something where you could start a bed and breakfast on a hill in the Shenandoah Valley. We've worked for folks to help them find places like that. But like I say, maybe you just want to live there all the time as well. And that's one of the best reasons to live on a hill or on a valley ridge is because you might always think you're on vacation. All right. So let's be clear. I don't want you to get high in the Shenandoah Valley, but I do want you to get high and live high in the Shenandoah Valley, if that's something that you're interested in, because the views and the peacefulness, is just so amazing. And like I said at the beginning of the video, Leslie and I, we get that question asked to us all the time. Can we find a home with a view and maybe some land? Well, usually you can. May, depending upon where that is, of course, the price may vary. And really the price can vary depending upon three variables, probably more, but especially three variables. Number one is how much land comes with that particular property. For example, the first property that I told you that we sold, that property that when that we looked at, that property came with about 23 acres of land. The second property came with about seven acres of land. And while both of them had a considerable amount of land, the one that had the larger amount of land was obviously more expensive than the one that uh, had a lesser amount of land. And so obviously how much land goes along with the property is gonna affect the price of that particular property. The second question though is how big is the house? That's gonna affect the value of course as well. If you have a 2,000 square foot house on top of the hill versus a 5,000 square foot house on top of the hill, of course, that's going to affect the value of that particular property as well. And of course, that me meshes in along with the amount of property that it has too. But thirdly is its location. As a real estate agent, the big thing to say, and you probably heard as well, what's about the price of a property? It's location, location, and location. And, and that's, that is the case. As I mentioned, living near a larger town, something like that, it's more convenient. So you can go right into town and pick those things up that you need and be right back home within just a few minutes as opposed to maybe going way back up into the mountains. So its location can have an effect on that as well. And here in the Shenandoah Valley, it, it depends upon whether you're in the north part of the Shenandoah Valley, the southern part, it, it, it all depends. But typically, in general, as you move west, for the most part, you, you may see things get a little cheaper as you head over toward West Virginia. But as you head to the east, up into the Blue Ridge Mountains, not always does it always get cheaper over there. There's parts that it does. Page County is one of those areas where things tend to run maybe a little bit cheaper, but but not always. Um, and, and so, so like I say, especially if you're along a major artery like Interstate 81 going north and south of the valley or Interstate 64 going east and west, anywhere that's convenient and close, you're going to find, of course, prices are a little bit more expensive in those areas. But if it comes down to it, sometimes you get what you pay for. And like I said, views from the tops of these hills, from the tops of the valley, ridges here in the valley are absolutely beautiful. So it's some, if it's something that you can do, I highly recommend that you do it. So really, how much does it cost to live on top of a hill or a valley ridge here in the valley? Well, obviously that can depend greatly. In general, maybe at least $400,000, maybe less, a little bit less than that, but all the way up into the millions of dollars for some beautiful, beautiful views. It all just depends what fits into your budget and what you're looking for. But like I say, at the end of the day, if you're able to find a place that maybe has a little bit of land that sits on top of one of these hills or these valley ridges, or even ones that sit up in the mountains as well, I couldn't recommend it more because of the beautiful views, the peacefulness and the privacy that you're gonna enjoy in most cases on top of these hills. So like I say, that's a little bit about the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. It's 140 mile length and all the beauty that is in that is here in the valley. And like I say, if you're looking to make a move to Virginia or maybe you're looking to make a move from uh, one point in the Shenandoah Valley to the other, or maybe from down in another part of uh, Virginia or Northern Virginia, wherever you're looking to come from, or maybe it's just a move across town. If you're looking to make a move to Virginia and Shenandoah Valley, you know the drill. Give Leslie and I a call, or you can even schedule a Zoom meeting on our YouTube uh, channel, and we'd be happy to help you make your move to Virginia as smooth as possible. At the end of the day, I can't express how much 
we enjoy living in Virginia's mountains and valleys. We, we truly do. We absolutely love it. And who knows, maybe in your future, you'll live on one of those hills in Virginia's valley as well. So until next time, we'll see you around town. Oh, 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 oh,